Agenda item 6A is our first public hearing item. This is REZ 2019-01. It's Old Pine Duplexes located on Old Pine Road. It's R21 with a request for, to go to R10. It has county water and sewer and it involves 0 0.92 acres. Ms. Stevens. Thank you, sir. Staff has nothing to add to yesterday's report, sir. Okay. Do we have any questions for Ms. Stevens from the commissioners? I just want to make sure, uh, is it the request for three duplexes on this said property? Yes, sir. It's two piece parcels that they hope to combine and then split to three parcels and build a duplex on each of those parcels. Also, did any of the residents, I mean, are any of the residents? We'll get to that. Okay. To the public hearing portion of it. Okay. I just noticed it wasn't in a, okay. a, a petition wasn't in here. Okay. So. Any other questions? Molly, are there five lots here? Are there five, did you say? Five lots. You have lot one, two, three up front, and then you have beside the one, one and three are part of the back lot. Right. You're seeing through the... Okay. Oh, so, okay, I see. I Subject see properties Thank are two you. parcels. Yeah. All right, I see it now. Molly, do you know what parking requirements are for this? No, sir. I can find that out. I believe the county engineer spoke and said that... There's nothing more than just what a normal house will be. I mean, you know, they, they can they'll just, just be a normal house, like a duplex. Single-family dwelling. Single-family dwelling. So, so we're saying I can assume that there'll be three driveways and enough parking for two cars per unit. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. If there's no other questions. We'll move into the public hearing portion of it. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone that would like to speak in opposition? One at a time, please come forward. State your name and address for the record. And you have a total of five minutes. Uh, my name is Dale Queen. I'm in 3729 Cross Creek Circle. I live directly behind the area there. Um, I'm a little concerned about it, number one, because my property line goes behind my fence. One of the things that we talked about before was them putting a fence along their line to keep encroachment out of my property. The other thing I'm a little concerned about is I know how big that area is. It ain't that big, and trying to get 12 cars in that area is going to be a challenge. Uh, the house that's right next to it also is in foreclosure, so there's nobody there to defend that. That's going to be fairly open area that can also be encroached on. And that road, Pine, Pine Road, is a very heavily traveled road. And if these people start parking on you on that road, you're going to get yourself an accident. So I believe that the population density, having six units there, is way too many for that small an area. Maybe two, but three, you're you're going to start stacking people on top of each other. That's just my personal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions for the speaker? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. All right. Anyone else? <coughs> please state your name and address for the record, please. My name is Kim Ortmeyer. I live at 3733 Cross Creek Circle, which is right behind this property. Um, I have the same concerns, having multi-house um, and dwellings in that area. Every house in that neighborhood is a single-family dwelling. We have no duplexes. Putting three on two lots, I think, is a little bit much. The parking is going to be a problem. The noise, um, I just don't know how they're going to get that many people on two lots. I mean, our home is on one lot, and it's bigger than one of those. All of our homes are over a half an acre. This is just under a half an acre each. And I would like it to stay a single family dwelling, each one. Okay. Any questions for the speaker? Thank you. Right. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Okay. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Matt Phelps. Uh, address is 4560 Bow North Drive. Uh, 
I'm the engineer uh, for the project representing the owner who could not be here tonight. He had a family, uh, family emergency, had to go out of town. Uh, just to address some of the concerns and questions they had, uh, the parking will be, there will be three separate driveways, one for each parcel, just like any other single family home. Uh, these are two bedroom, two bath units on each side of the duplex. So it, it's a total of four bedroom, four bath, essentially a uh, single family home. It's 1,800 roughly square feet total for the entire duplex. Again, basically a single family home that's very standard on an R10 size lot. Uh, the parking for each house will be handled in the driveways um, like any other single family home, like the engineer, uh, county engineer said. So um, basically what was here was, was three uh, mobile homes. Those have been moved off in the recent past and we're looking to go from three mobile homes to three duplexes, um, which I think is would be an upgrade. Um, again, this are larger lots in this area was because there were no water and sewer services there in the past. Well, now there are. So moving from a larger to a little bit smaller um, lot, I think, is a natural progression for the development of the area. As we've seen across the road with the PD um, and apartments, actually, just across the street, Patriots, Patriots Place. So um, if there's any other questions or concerns I can address, I would be happy to. Any questions for the speaker? So I don't mean to sound like I'm hung up on the parking, but so you're saying there will be, first of all, let me say I feel like this little, this rendering is a little bit deceptive because it seems like the parking and driveways were intentionally left off of it. But <clears throat> so there will be four parking spaces in front of each, in front of each of the three buildings. Yes, and then at least it, one per bedroom, you know, assuming, you know, there's, there's two people of driving age living there. Yes, sir. And I, that wasn't meant to be deceptive um, by leaving that off. I apologize. Uh, but there will be a separate driveway per parcel. Thanks, man. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this request? Hearing none, I'll now close the public participation portion of the meeting and turn it back over to the Commissioner for your consideration. Motion to deny. Okay, we have a motion to deny. Second. Second. We have a second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, I'll call the vote by a show of hands. I'll rise your right hand, please. That's four. In the opposition, one. Okay, four to one. In favor of the motion. The motion passes. Agenda item 